How you doing guys? Today we are going to talk about a couple big subjects. One, the channel crossing 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. As well as prepping the little mule for the wheel horse show. I was toying the idea of which tractor to take to the wheel horse show, but I uh, decided to just go with the old standby, and that is the little mule. Now, last year, about you know, just before this time, I had done the rear seat pan. I had stretched the fenders and repainted it for the American flag. Um, I also added the little little name to the back of the axle shafts, but with the pandemic. You know, we didn't have the wheel horse show. And I did drive the tractor a little bit last year, but not a whole lot. So this year, I kind of, you know, took it out of mothballs. I took it to the Zag Race show. It, you know, drove it around the neighborhood three or four times. And it, it rides, it runs and rides perfectly fine. But just to make sure that when I get down to the wheel horse show, we're not necessarily going to have any issues so with that what i do for a big show like this or a show where i just don't want to deal with issues with the tractor i like to kind of go front to back make sure everything is tight make sure um you know things are greased oils changed uh, just to make sure that we're all we're all right there so with that let me just kind of run through what i've done thus far i've gone ahead and greased all the points in the front end i did go ahead and change the oil in the uh in the motor uh just went ahead and changed it with straight 30 weight i use the via uh, vrf valvoline race oil because it's got those uh, extra zinc and stuff for the flat tap at cam this engine takes about a quart and three quarters with the small oil pan. It is a little bit overfilled, and every once in a while, it'll blow a little oil out of the, um, out of the valve gallery or through the, the breather on the valve gallery, but that's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, went ahead, pulled the K&N filter, cleaned it, re-oiled it, put it back in. Um, what else did we do maintenance-wise? Oh, the transmission. I'll, uh, I'll just, as soon as I'm done, I'll show you a little video clip that I had made. This video, unfortunately, is going to be a little choppy because I accidentally deleted some of the uh, <laughs> little tidbits. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but I accidentally deleted it. So it's going to be a little choppy, but the gear oil was replaced in the transmission. That was the first time since I rebuilt the transmission of last year. And you'll see that there is a little shininess in the oil, but that's to be expected with all brand new bearings and all the bronze uh, bushings or little shims I put in to hold the shafts in so everything was broken in real nice dumped the oil everything is fine you'll see I got again a little choppy I did uh, fix the trailer hitch number one it was leaning back so when you looked at it it actually was like in this position as well as it would you know every time you went over a bump it would shake up and down so what I've done whoops what I've done is fix that so now this is all real nice and steady and it's not going to vibrate and cause any major noises the other thing i did too is i went to my parts bin and i got a nicer rear hitch the one i had was off a transmission that i actually took it off with a uh, with a torch so right then and there um <laughs> you know that was uh that was going to be a mess the other thing i did too is i went around and I kind of like fixed little things that have been driving me nuts the hitch I mean, the, the trailer hitch uh, uh, piece rattling around, fix that, replace the hitch with a better one. The other thing, too, there was a couple screw holes here. I went ahead and filled them in just with uh, a set of quarter 20 bolts, just so that's all nice and clean and done. Uh, what else did we do? You know, just kind of going around and dialing it in in areas that have been just driving me nuts over the years or over the course of time. The next thing I'm going to do here uh, or towards the end of the video, I will show you. One of the things is these dashboards originally had a, I guess it was a silk screen 
Um, it said wheel horse right here. So what I'm going to do, and I've done this to the to the other tractors in the past, I have another one of these decals, extra, and I'm going to very carefully with a, a utility knife and a brand new blade cut the wheel and the horse right out of it. So where, what did I do? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so here it is. So basically, I'm going to cut right on the edge of the red with a, a knife and, and separate and get rid of all the chrome and separate the red horse and the red wheel or should I say wheel and red horse. And then we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna lay it in right in this area, just like the original uh, decal would have been. So I'm gonna get going on that. And while I'm working on that, you'll see what I've done to this tractor thus far. So we definitely have some sparkling in there. Let me see if I can get this to be better. Yeah, you can see it in there. The flutter, I apologize for the flutter in the light, it's just the LED flashlight that I'm using. So there's a little bit of uh, shininess in there, but that's to be expected. I mean, it was all brand new bearings, it was all brand new bushings and shims, so, you know. And I, was this is the second summer on that, on this oil, so. Nothing alarming, we'll just let it drain and uh, we'll fill it back up. With the hitch off, I was going to just kind of shim it with a washer. Um, basically, I'm using a thick style hardened washer right here, but it wasn't quite enough. So I, I went into the went into the, my junk bin underneath my workbench and I pulled out this piece of band iron. Um, it looks, I will measure it in a minute, but this piece of band iron is just a hair thicker than this washer. I'm going to measure a piece from here. I'm going to take a measurement from here to here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off, sand it down, sand it down here, and I'm just going to tack weld it right to the hitch. And that's going to give me that little bit of extra thickness, which is going to push the hitch ball up. And it should be straight. If I need to sand it down with the die grinder in order to make it a little bit thinner, in order to dial it in, we'll do that. This should be a really quick pro. Well, hopefully it's a really quick project and it'll just add a little look to the tractor. All right, so with a quick hacksaw, I cut, this is eighth inch. It's one and a half inches uh, in length. I'm going to clean this up with a die grinder and a cookie wheel. And I'm basically gonna just tack weld the back of it. I mean, I don't have to go crazy with it. I just gotta have it hold in place because whenever you put weight on the end of the Hitch, it's going to push up on this, and that's basically going to give us the same amount of uh, weight distribution as the end of this hitch itself. So, let me go ahead, get the air compressor fired up, and uh, we'll sand this all down. We'll lightly sand all this all up so we get a nice clean. We'll break out the welder, we'll zap it into place, and theoretically, that's it. We can put it right back on, it'll be level, and it just adds that little touch that nobody will ever notice except me. <laughs> Well, that eighth of an inch was just a hair, like almost too much, but it definitely fixed everything I was looking for. Number one, the trailer hitch now sits nice and straight. The other thing I didn't think of until just now, but there's no movement in the hitch anymore. And this thing would bang around. Every time you went over a bump, you'd hear a big loud kabang, you know, because this thing was bouncing around, but now, it's right up against the back of the transmission. It's real solid, so it doesn't bang around anymore. And if we go underneath, um, you can see 
that little piece of band iron in there which just basically tightened everything up so you know it's yeah. i know some people would be like dude that's just ridiculous i don't understand why you wasted your time doing that but literally it took me about 15 minutes it probably is going to be probably going to take me longer to pick up all my tools and sweep the floor than it did to actually fix that all right let me think of what was what's next one of the last things i want to do is i want to make a new hitch pin for it uh, for the tractor itself i had like an ugly looking eyelet which wasn't original this one happens to be not original to this you know year tractor this is an actually an rj35 pin this is an original one um for my rj35 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and make one of these real quick just gonna i've already i kind of started the project and i said like, oh wait a minute let me just show you so half inch piece of bar stock or, or yeah round bar uh, i'm going to just heat up a section of it i'm going to just bend it to that shape and then i'm going to cut off the uh the ends at the appropriate length so let me get back to heating this up and bending it don't be fooled that thing is blazing hot it's amazing how much heat a map gas torch will show you. So if I lay this on top of itself, and I will try my best, because I don't feel like burning myself beyond where we're going to need skin grafts. Um, but you can see that angle is pretty darn dead nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and quench it to cool it off, and then I'll take some measurements and cut it to size. So there we go. After a little shoe shine sanding and a little bit of scotch bright. I think it looks just fine. I mean, the this angle is a little tighter than that angle, but in general, from a distance, it's going to look the part. So let's go ahead and let's just install this and call it finished. All right, let's just go ahead and drop that in there. Oh, look at that. Yep. There it is. That's all done. All right. Well, oh, and then there is one other thing I did. I did run over to Walmart and I did get a new battery for it, just just in case. The battery that's in the tractor is fine, but you know, for 28 bucks, I said the hell with it. So I just bought a new battery. I'll install that over the weekend, and we'll get the little mule loaded up on my trailer in the next you know, three or four days and get it over to my brother's house. So that way it can hibernate there until we're ready to blast off for the wheel horse show. All right, guys, I think that is it. I just have some cleaning up of a little bit of a grease here and there that squirted out. And then I'm just going to wipe the tractor down so that way it's it's clean and ready to go. So as oh, so on the 4,000 subscribers, I just want to tell people in general uh, how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's just a little tractor channel. Does small engines and paint jobs and little things here and there. So I really do appreciate all your viewership. I really do appreciate all your interest. Thank you for your likes, your comments. Uh, please keep, have them keep coming because um, I do enjoy reading them. I will respond to you. It does take me a little, a little bit of time um, I, sometimes with work and stuff like that. I don't have time to necessarily go through them all in a, an immediate fashion, but I definitely try to respond to every single person. Please like, share, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you could. And thank you very, very much for all of your interest over all the years. I really do appreciate it. And one last thing, I hope to see you all at the Wheel Horse Show later on this month. All right, till the next video, have a nice day.